In this video, I endeavor to present the weak case of the proponents that state the church will not go through the Great Tribulation make. I'm using a video from Alan Parr. He makes five points. I'm just going to address the ones that are so blatantly debunkable. The first reason is a pretty simple one, and that is the idea that the word church does not appear in the book of Revelation from chapters 4 all the way through chapter 19. The word church doesn't appear from 20 to 22 either. Now, from 20 to 22, it uses the word the bride, but from 5 to 19, it uses the word saints. When Paul wrote letters to the churches, he usually addressed it to the saints of whatever city he was addressing it to. So, technically, yes, the word church is not in, in the book of Revelations from 4 to 22, but the word saint is. The second reason is that I believe that the Bible is crystal clear that God is not going to allow his church, his believers, his bride, if you will, to experience divine wrath for no reason. Yes, the church is not going to suffer divine wrath, but is going to suffer the wrath of the dragon. Big difference. Now, in this section, he mistakes the tribulation wrath that's being poured out on the wicked with the eternal punishment wrath. For example, read in John 3, 36. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. This wrath is not the tribulation wrath. This is the wrath that everyone who does not believe on the Lord Jesus will suffer at the end. But he mistakenly He's going to quote a bunch of verses and he, he's going to apply it to the tribulation when it's not. Said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and 10, he says, And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who, listen to this, rescues us from the coming wrath. Paul also said in the same book, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9, For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Here are some more. Romans chapter 5, verse 9 states, Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6 states, Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes upon those who are Christian? No, those who are disobedient. Here, he separates the rapture from Jesus coming. The third reason why I believe that the church will not go through the seven-year tribulation period is because we must distinguish between the rapture and the second coming of Jesus Christ. This is where many people get very confused about end-time prophecies. Difference number one, the Bible says that the rapture is going to occur in an instant at the twinkling of an eye. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. This is where context is key. In 1 Corinthians 15, 52, the whole topic is about what type of body we will have. And we read in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. It's not that we, we will be raptured, we will be taken up, we will be changed. So he's confusing, he's trying to insert his rapture doctrine into this verse when the context is clearly about our bodies being changed from corruptible to incorruptible. The second difference is that the rapture, we will meet Jesus in the clouds, but in the second coming, when he comes to the earth, he's going to step foot on the earth and he's going to actually uh, descend to the Mount of Olives. Here, he separates the rapture from Jesus coming. The Bible is clear, Matthew 24, they're both on, on the same timeline, but he's trying to separate it, and these are the points he's going to make. Okay, the fourth reason is probably the most important reason for a pre-tribulation rapture, and this is the idea that the church must be seen as a different group of people than the nation of Israel. In Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, we read about the great multitude which had on white robes. Then one of the elders asked John, who are these that are dressed in white robes? And then in verse 14, the elders said that these went through great tribulation. 
And in Revelation 6, 11, the way they got their robes were because they were screaming, how long do, will you not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? That, th those are the folks that got the white robes, not the Israelites. A lot of people still have Kurt Cameron in their mind. I could have spent an hour refuting point by point his assertion that he, the church is not going to go through tribulation. But I chose the ones that were strong. And I hope that you will analyze and, and go back to the scripture and study yourself to be approved in this topic.